The Manchester Marathon has become one of the biggest run events in the UK. Every year thousands of runners head to Manchester and tackle the 26.2 miles. I've never been to Manchester nor run the Manchester Marathon, so come with me this weekend and join thousands of other runners as we jump on a train, head north for a 40 runs weekend at the Manchester Marathon 2024. Good morning and welcome to Manchester. So guys, welcome to an epic, epic weekend. We've got a huge weekend in store. So not only do we have the Manchester Marathon, which is the UK second biggest tomorrow, where Ben, Chris, and loads of other runners are gonna be going for PBs, and some of them are gonna be trying to do their first marathon. We've got huge shakeout runs to take part in and some other cool stuff as well. So sit back, get a cup of tea and relax as we take you along for the weekend. But before we do all of that, it's Saturday morning. So that means we've got to go park run. We made it, Alexandra Park. I think it's called Alexandra Park. I'm gonna check on the thing. Yeah, Alexandra Park. This is a busy park run. 500 people apparently for this old boy. And we go around here in loops. But this is gonna be packed because of the marathon tomorrow as well. We've got a 40 run in here. Yeah, good leg. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be a busy one. I'm looking forward to this. This should be fast as well, apparently. It's a, it's a quick one. So yeah, let's see what's gonna go on. So Joe, we've got about 10 minutes. I'll see you when we get underway. I'm absolutely soaked, but I enjoyed that. It's, uh, us, us Southern Ferries don't do well with this rain. Where is she? We wait for Abby to finish now. Do you know what the rain is? This is the best time to run. Yeah, what time do we run? About 25 minutes? 24.05. There you go. Uh, well, ratings, what would you give him? I'd give it a nine. Oh, I'd give it a nine as well. I tell you what, if you want to get lively out of it, you can. But also, it's so well organised. Yeah. Which is good. You know, the lab's in that lot. It's brilliant. Yeah, I'd recommend this one. If you're coming to Manchester, maybe you'll do Manchester next year. Come along to this park ride. Super, super well organised. But right, we'll get Abin's uh, review, rating, and then we'll, um, we'll head back into town. Right, Abin's just connecting us to a drive. I mean, while you're connecting us to a driver, give the viewers your ratings on that park run. Oh, eight out of ten. Only eight? We went nine. Yeah. A bit rainy and a bit. You can't no, you can't mark them down for the weather. You're like Simon. We do your rating based on not weather. Nine. Yeah. It's yeah. lovely, well organised. I've never seen a funnel like it. Come through, got your barcode scanned in about four seconds. I tell you the best thing that he said is the people. They were oh. so friendly and so nice, weren't yeah. they? We didn't have a clue where we was going. Everybody was really, really nice. Yeah, so I enjoyed that. You. Yeah. Run, run direct was brilliant. So thank you very much, Alexandra Park Run. We really, really enjoyed that. And we will be back next year when Bill comes up here to run 250 in the Manchester Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where are they? I'm missing Abby. I think she's going to get something to eat because oh, I don't know where they are. Anyway, we're off to do the shakeout run. We have got 200 people coming to the centre of town to do this big shakeout run with Brooks today. So I don't know where she is, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, we organised it with the guys at Brooks Up and Running Manchester. Um, as I said, we've got about 200, I think it might even be more people sign on for this run, but it is raining, so I expect few less but it's going to be awesome it's going to be super super busy so we'll take you over there hang out and yeah we're going to do some shaking out Okay, thank you very much to everybody who's joined us. It was 
brave the elements to come out for a cheeky little bit of shake-out running. Who's actually running Manchester Marathon? Put my hands up. After three, we're going to do big 40 runs. One, two, three. Get some ratings. Oh, Chris, rating out of, out of 10 for the shake out. Seven. Too many cobbles. Seven. Too many cobbles. Seven. I'm going to edit cobbles. you out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> eight. Eight. Why well, only eight? Bit muddy. Bit muddy. cobbly. Uh, You're a hard bunch, you like. <laughs> ratings, Lee's. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah, eight, eight, great eight, company. Eight. <laughs> ratings. M, cobbly. No, 10. <laughs> That's not a rating, cobbly. You've got to say 10, it's for Brooks. M, M 10. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say 9. 9. Yeah, the cobbles, man. 9 and a half. <laughs> that, I like that. <laughs> you? 10, obviously. 10? Good. Ten. Oh, 11, definitely 11. 11. Mick. Yeah. It's got to be a 12 if he's got 11. <laughs> yeah. I don't hear any more than 12. <laughs> Ratings. Oh, 15. Well, because I was there. Yes, Hero. Oh, rated out of 10. Um, 20. 20. I've got 20 now. What about ratings out of 100? 90. 90? Why not 100? What about you? 100. Yeah, high five for you. Yeah. There you go. We got 100 out of 10. Look at all these heroes, right? That's it. Anyone see my megaphone? I'm gonna get changed here. Right, Bill, we're Yo. doing a taste test. Tell on. This is, what is this? This is Brooks, and it's called. Hang on, where is she? Where's Heather? No, Jess. What's this stuff really called? Bubble tea. Bubble, bubble what? Bubble tea. Bubble tea. You ready? Taste test. It's gonna be like the bubbles of like. What? What's in the shoes? Oh, all right. So this is what's in my shoes, is it? Okay, right. It's not actually in the shoes. We're doing a taste test live on YouTube. We should probably do this on the Facebook as well. Right, so why do I need the straw? Because there's little balls in the What, can I eat them? Yeah, you eat them. Right, here we go. Oh, that's a bit like that. It goes down your front, eh? Don't do it. I like the taste. Don't, don't eat the bubbles. Oh, that's so weird, all the stuff comes up. Right, changed. Absolutely soaked. That was crazy, absolutely crazy. Oh, I don't know whether the pictures and that did show it, but absolutely mental. Look, it's still here, look. Right, we're going to go get something to eat. Catch you in a bit. Right, boys, firstly, did you enjoy the shakeout run? Loved it. What was the best part, obviously, apart from me being there? Being the turning point. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Out of 10, how would you rate him as a turning point? Oh, it was straight and it was good. It was like out of straight, 10. Out of 10. Um, Strong three? Five, maybe. You can see him. And then, out, out of interest, how many people wish you luck for your sub three attempt tomorrow? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Probably stitched him up. Okay, Ben, I've got some big news for you. What I wanted to say to you, because yeah, yeah, it, it does impact him slightly, but if I tell you, then you can tell him. Okay. So tomorrow, yeah. where you know I was saying to you about go, taking it, like just running like steady, well I think actually tomorrow you've got full permission to send it from the start. So I think you've got to run under 320 tomorrow. So I'm thinking 315 is definitely on. What does Chris think? Now that, obviously that impacts you, because yeah. you're running with him. So I think you can run 315 easy. You can, you can run, to be honest with you, you can run 215. But... <laughs> You've got to go with slow coach. So, <laughs> so I'm being, ser I'm being serious, boys. I'm tomorrow, it's on. There's a hill at mile 16, but it's not a hill, apparently. It's, it's, it's a slight upward, but you come back down it. So right. I think tomorrow, genuinely, 3.15 is on, 100%. What do you think? I don't, I'm not paid to think. What do you think? I think... It's Because you ran a 129 half. He can do it. You can do it. You ran. I can do it. Fine. Something quick the other day. What was that thing you ran? He's, you're both capable of doing it. It's just whether you've got the minerals to go out there and have it tomorrow. You, I, I said no to you, not to do it, but I'm giving you full permission to send it because your training's been very good. 
So you've got full permission to go bananas. We'll try it. Let's see. I just want to enjoy myself. Yeah, so 310. You would enjoy yourself running 310. <laughs> okay? So you heard it here first. So tune in later. Ben, you've got to give me your number as well. So then I can tell everyone. My number? <laughs> so I'm track 07. You. <laughs> oh, not that number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you want an update, wait. No, okay. so now, now I've told him this, he's come out of all these facts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Stripod Predictor is 31041. Yeah. Garmin Predictor yeah. is. Please be on the 310. 31336. Okay, Chris, what's yours predicting? 316. There you go, see? 310, 316. So well, no, if we're both going on Garmin, mine's 31332. Okay, so. About the same, 315 average. So under 315 is doable. Yeah, and it's only it's only seven twenty six per mile. We only. Yeah, but you run there comfortably. Are you going to do? You, it you like only do because I slow you down <laughs> on the training runs. Otherwise, you you'd be doing that every weekend. It's, it's only me. And but the only problem is what we have realised is that he runs in them funny things called kilometres. He runs in kilometres. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Right, right. We made it to the feel good club. <gasps> oh, where's he go? There you go to the Fielger Club, which is the Adidas pop-up shop here. Yeah, Fielger Club here. Uh, so we're going to go and have a look around in there. We thought we'd pop here after dinner or lunch and check out what's going on in there. So let's go in. I'll give that a rating out of 10. I'll give that a zero out of 10. Well done, Adidas. That's a bit hard. Uh, that's true, there's nothing in there that's adding any value to anybody. Yeah. I, I know I was, but I, I, <laughs> absolute waste of time. They could have been, you could have been making a killing today, Adidas. You could have sold any old two and people would have bought it, but they didn't. So anyway, you let yourselves down. I might next year set up my own stall and sell stuff by Adidas. I think that could be a better idea. What do you think? It's a good idea, no? <laughs> it's not saying anything. Right, where are we going now? Where am I going? Where am I going now? Oh, I'm going to the hotel, see the back of the hotel. So headed back to the hotel, quick cup of tea, got some editing done before we headed out for dinner. These are the best parts of the trip, just hanging out with your mates, having some food, chilling out and getting ready for what is going to be a huge day tomorrow. Ending to the start. Any final words? Have an amazing day. It's going to have an amazing day. This lad. Oh man, I, even I can Richard feel the energy. Yeah. And you, the, like, the nervousness yeah. of it all. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. I love marathon time. <laughs> so we're going to head down here with Bill. Then we're going to get over to the start and get uh, hopefully film that. And then we'll head out and call. So that's how the day's going to go. So many stories going on today with Ben and Chris and Bill and so many other runners out there. It's going to be epic, but yeah, so we're going to head to the start once we get Bill into his pen um, and then we'll get the race underway. So we'll catch up with you a little bit later on. Hopefully, after they've all had a safe and successful day. Taking over the media section. People's going in the start behind. But look, they're all coming up. We're at mile six. Old Trafford, Manchester football ground is over there, Old Trafford. I've lost my voice in shouting. They're about to go. These guys are all smashing the life out of this. It's unbelievable. What an atmosphere. Oh, look at them, look. Oh. Heroes, you're right, mate. Unbelievable. So it's, it's great. We're going to stay here for a little bit. 
But then we're going to head on because I think for a lot of runners up there, just up there, the marathon really starts. That up there is where the journey starts to the finish. Look, the guys yeah, coming in and girls behind us. Well, Unbelievable to see so much heroic efforts down here. It's incredible, look. Amazing. So we're now waiting for Bill, Lloyd and Ben. They should be the first ones coming through, we think. Yeah, they're coming through. 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 Yeah, they're Hey, Sonny! Hey, Sonny! I got ya! I got ya! Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> oh, yes! Free lemon! <laughs> Let's go! He's done it! He's done it! Medal time for Benny Boy, come on! See this lady, she's amazing. They can't put it on. Thank you very much. Come on, son. Brilliant. Look, it's brilliant. How much did you enjoy that out of 10? I did. <laughs> Up until the wheels came off. Oh, what do you mean the wheels came off? Well, what? About 23. Yeah. I was just slowing, slowing. I was like, I want to walk. And I was like, no. You can slow down. Just slow down. <laughs> and then I was like, sprint, no. No. Get a photo, get a photo. Fan of the pod, just bumped into him, quite a legend. Ben, yeah. what was around here? Ben, um, Sorry, rating. No, 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 I'm more interested in the ratings on uh, the course. But you're not going anywhere, you're giving us a rating. I'm going eight. Eight, why only eight? You just ran a 10 minute PB. Potholes. Potholes. About and you? Hill. Rated out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going eight as well. Eight, why only eight? Potholes and then he tripped, tripped over a bit of traffic on the middle of the road. Yeah, you get, boys, as well, get yourself yeah. some water, well deserved. Thanks. Right, so Ben. Ah, uh, I ate. Yeah, but the good thing is, you did what you was told, you smashed it. So we got to wait for, when did you get your official time? I know that, well, what was that, what was that? 3.11.21. 3.11.21, so that ain't going to be a million miles. And that was 0.3 over, yeah. Hello. Oh, he's Magda. You are Magda. Hi, he ran a 10 minute PB. Woo, woo, woo. Awesome. Say hello to you two. Hello. <laughs> That's one of the well, rock stars, Magda. And we're just going to take Benny to here now. Get his bag and stuff. Okay, we're going to finish his pen now. The hero, other hero of the day. Here he is. Um, What'd you run? I did. 3.15. He looks strong out there. He looked good. Boy's coming back. Look strong at it. Ratings is what we what we're after. I'm not going to tell you what Ben gave. I give it eight. That's the same as him. Why? Why eight? People are lovely. Yeah. I think the organisation is amazing. It is brilliant. I think the organisers were great. I think they're friendly organisers, which yeah. makes everything easy. Yeah. The volunteers. I'm oh, Do you know what? If you had to rate the volunteers, I give them 10 out of 10. Oh, 100 percent The St John's Ambulance right at the finish was so amazing. Oh. They were like, guy, Gary Fish. Everyone. Who's his name? Gary Fish from Human Race. The, the guy at the finish, right? Yeah. This guy, Gary, well, Gary yeah, was un. But look at Ben, not naked again. Uh, was was so amazing with every single runner, yeah. Which is caring. This is the thing about it. It's just everyone's so caring. Yeah. But so you're going eight. I'm going eight, but I give ten out of ten for the volunteers. I, I'm, I'm giving I'm giving the race organisers ten. Yeah, yeah race. Or, ten. It would be nice to have some snacks that now though. That's the only. Yeah, Ben. That, that's again. That's a you problem. <laughs> I mean, I. Asked... I like the top. You're welcome. <laughs>
You're welcome. Do a bit of advertising, Brooke. But yeah, I would, I would honestly, <coughs> I would strong, as somebody who's been sitting here watching it all day, I would strongly, re but yeah, I've been working hard, Ben. Would you recommend coming to work? I would recommend coming to, no, I would recommend running it. I, honestly, I've been to Brighton, right. yeah, it's better than that. In terms oh, of watching, it was great. Yeah, like unbelievable. It was, the there start. wasn't that many quiet ones out because there was a couple, but it wasn't massively no. quiet. How hilly was it? And even the hill at 16, yeah. it wasn't really. I was like, oh, is that it? There is a hill, but it's not everyone builds it up, and I was like, oh, okay, you kind of go up and then you're round the corner. That's what I said to you yesterday. So there we go. Proofs in the pudding, people. These guys smashed it. We've been in, I've been in that executive box all day, adding value, influencing. <laughs> no, I've been out and called supporting Ben. Uh, Disruptive. Yeah, you know, you know, but honestly, we can't emphasize it enough. Get yourselves along to Manchester, sack off all London and Brighton and all that. Get along to Manchester, get involved with this. The people up here are amazing. The event organizers have done a cracking job and you heard it yourself in terms of the course of that lot. But yeah, that's it for us guys. Right, Bill, take us out, say bye. See you later, guys. Have a lovely day. Lastly, you bye, boys. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs>